something like that. I think the first thing is to realize that if you use the sun as the only source of energy, and you want to fly through the night, you have a problem. And uh, the only way to solve the problem is to uh, make and build an aircraft which is extremely energy efficient. And interestingly, in fact, it's not one breakthrough which made us or made it possible. It was the sum of a lot of different improvements everywhere. So, for example, the, uh, the use of lighter materials. Um, we use carbon fibers, which is basically the skeleton of this, uh, of this aircraft, uh, that's what gives it structure. We use sheets of carbon fibers which weighs today 25 grams per square meter. I and mean, if you compare, for example, with the sheet of paper you have here, it's 80 grams per square meter, it's three times more. Uh, so these are processes, materials which have been developed, which are available, which you can use. We have electric motors which have an efficiency of 95% today. I mean, the, the, the motor that we use in our cars today has something like 30% at best, which means 70% uh, of the energy you put in your tank, in your fuel tank, is lost in heat, and only 5% here. Uh, we developed with the, the companies that you can see on this airplane uh, new insulation materials which is finding its way now to um, build better refrigerators, simply saving maybe 10, 15, 20% of, uh, of the energy. So it's really the sum of all these different steps, and I can tell you these were hundreds of steps which made it possible to fly through the night, and therefore to fly day and night, and to, to have the first airplane which has an unlimited endurance, can fly a week, can fly a month.